Good morning, friends. It is May 7th, 2020, and it's day 26 in our packet. Today in math, we're going to continue working with shapes, but today we're going to play a guess my shape game, okay? So how it's going to go is I'm going to hold two different shapes behind my back, okay? And then I'm going to say I have two shapes, okay? And thinking about the sides of them, I have seven sides total or all together. So I want you to draw the two different shapes that have this amount of sides that add up to equal seven. Okay? So let's think about it. What two numbers make seven? Could three? What shape? A triangle good. And what shape? A square, how many sides? One, two, three, four. And a square makes seven. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does a triangle and a square make seven? Good, it does. Now, let's try it again. I have two shapes in my hand. The total is four. How many or what two shapes do I have in my hand? Think about it. There's two shapes, but only four sides all together in both shapes. All right, are we ready? So why do we think that I only have four sides all together? So I could have what? A square or a rectangle. Good, let's count how many sides. One, two, three, four. But I had two shapes in my hand, so what is the other shape? A circle, because how many sides does a circle have? None. Good. A rectangle and a circle. All right, let's do it one more time. I have two shapes in my hand. Ready, friends? And with these two shapes, the sides I have all together are eight, excuse me, eight. Think about two different shapes and how those two sides can all add up to equal eight. Good, a rectangle, a square and a rectangle because they both have how many sides? Four, and four plus four is eight. Great job, y'all. Okay, so the next thing in math it asks you guys to do is to make a shape robot, okay? And how that works is you can either take construction paper or paper and cut out the different shapes to put on your robot, or you can draw your robot. So I decided I was going to draw my robot, okay? So let me show you him. So here's my robot that I drew, okay? I want you to notice the shapes that you see and then label them, okay? So I have triangles. Circles. It's gonna be a little crooked, but that's okay. What are those? Rectangles. Okay. Are there any squares anywhere? Ovals. So, I want you guys to make your robot and then label him. You can either use construction paper and cut out the shapes or just draw on a piece of paper in your composition notebook. You guys decide whatever you want, but make sure you send a picture of your robot and then afterwards, um, keep it because we're going to use it again tomorrow. Today in reading, it wants you guys to read a new story called Witch Treats, okay? So I want you guys to pause the video and click on the link in the description for module, and it, it's going to show you that video, and it's going to read you the story as well. Um, after you finish it, come back to me. Now that you're back, um, what I want you guys to do is talk about the main idea in the story. So 
What does it mean to be the main idea in a story? Good. So the main idea is what is the book all about? What is the story all about? What is that main idea? So what is the main idea in this story? Good. The main idea is trees and different trees and guessing which tree does what. Okay, for example, in this story it says, see these leaves? Their tree makes sweet syrup. So what tree do we know that makes syrup? Good, a maple tree. So again, the main idea is the big thing that the story is about, which is different kinds of trees or trees. Then when you're finished, I want you guys to write and tell me what the most interesting tree is in the story. So it says the most interesting tree is. So if I wanted to say the maple tree, I'm going to say the most interesting tree is the maple And if you wanted to add more to it, you could tell me why you think that is it. So I could write, because oh, I can't write. Okay, so the most interesting tree is the maple tree because it gives us syrup, okay? So what I want you guys to do is write a sentence about what tree you thought was the most interesting tree in the story and then write it in your composition notebook. You guys got it. Once you finish writing your sentence, I guys also want you to draw a picture of your favorite tree from the story, okay? So whatever tree you chose, draw a picture that goes along with your sentence and in the story. In word work today, you guys are going to work on your cycle 21 words, rainbow writing them, okay? So, but you could also mystery write them. In the descriptions below, I went ahead and linked in both my rainbow writing video and my mystery word video to remind you guys how to do those sight word practicing games. All right, you guys got this. So the last part of the day is I'm going to introduce you to a new word. And that word is called climate. Okay? So climate is a little bit different than um, something that we've talked about a lot, which is seasons. So seasons, remember, what changes throughout the seasons? Good. The weather. So in the wintertime, it's really hot. No, it's really cold. Or in the summertime, are you sweating? Good, because it's really what? hot outside okay and so how what I want you guys to do is think about climate so there's lots of different climates around the world but a climate is something that the weather stays the same throughout the year there so in the rainforest okay that's a really good example because the rainforest is always rainy all throughout the year so the climate is very rainy there's also the tundra, okay? And the tundra is in the Arctic, and the, so that means that it's very cold and icy all the time. Think about where polar bears are. Good. They can't live in the heat, right? No, so their climate is very cold. What we've decided to do today is we want you guys to think about Charlotte climate. Charlotte climate changes a lot, but I want you to think about one climate in Charlotte in particular and then I want you to write and draw about it. You guys got this and have such a happy Thursday and I will see you guys in a little bit.